Joining us right now in his first interview since the settlement is Kraken incoming CEO Dave Ripley. Good morning to you. Uh, lots of questions about the settlement, but also what it means more broadly to the crypto industry and really how the SEC is policing the world of crypto. I think there's still so many unanswered questions about sort of uh, the path of travel. And I think a lot of companies out there in your space um, you know, confused about what they are allowed to do, not allowed to do, what it means to register with the SEC, all of those things. I'm curious what your lesson is uh, from, from this settlement. And also, I'm curious, are you allowed to talk about it publicly? Yeah, well, thanks, uh, thanks for having me on, Andrew. Uh, it's nice and early out here in the West Coast. Uh, first time I'm probably up before my kids. But uh, yeah, so uh, happy, to, happy to share a number of things. Um, you're right. Uh, thanks for the preface. Uh, you know, one of the aspects of the settlement is that we can either confirm nor deny any of the uh, claims contained with, within. But uh, I am happy to comment on, uh, you know, crypto, cryptocurrency regulation policy and, and a number of the things at, at play here, for sure. You know, Kraken's been a, a company that we've been around for over a decade. Um, we're going to be around for another decade and several more to come. We've, you know, built the company with a, you know, security mindset, focused on clients, focused on service and regulatory compliance. You know, we're uh, active with licenses and registrations across the globe in many different geographies. Right. So, um, so that's really, Dave, really how we approach this space. Dave, let me ask you, though, one, one big question uh, in the industry around this settlement in particular is, you know, you're no longer offering this staking service in the U.S., but you are offering the service elsewhere. And that raises a sort of broader policy question around how other companies in your space are supposed to uh, work, but also whether Americans or others are going to then basically move towards the international service as opposed to doing it um, onshore, if you will. Yeah, well, you're, you're hitting all the right questions, honestly. So, uh, you know, as you know, when Chairman Gensler was was on your show, you, you, you addressed this. And so um, there today are a number of other staking services available right here in the U.S. And the chairman says they're all on notice. Uh, but as we sit here and speak today, they're all running. Um, and so maybe these end up getting shut down. We don't know. Tough for us to, to, of course, comment. But one thing that will not happen is that all of the staking services that are running across Asia and other parts of the world will continue to run. And we know firsthand that many U.S. customers, uh, U.S. users, go to these services offshore and what lo and behold happens is that many of these services are in jurisdictions with no regulation, uh, you know, companies that are not interested in a regulatory forward approach. And what happens through all of this? Who are the losers? The American people. And so when they lose opportunities to participate in this innovation and uh, end up with, uh, you know, just a really, really suboptimal But Dave, who, who should be responsible for that piece of it? Because any American who is going on these international services, I imagine, is using a VPN effectively to disguise where they're coming from, because technically, I think it would not be allowed for one of these international services to serve one of them. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, well, that, that is, that is uh, you know, potentially the case. You know, they, they may require a VPN. They may not require a VPN. I think we see both variations from these, you know, these Asian players. But, you know, the real path here is to come up with, you know, sensible regulation that allows the innovation to thrive here in the U.S., allows great services for, uh, you know, for individuals here in the U.S., but in a safe, uh, in a safe way. Right. And that's really what we, we want to do.